Okay, hello everybody and welcome to your next C++ LEGO 5 platformer tutorial and this tutorial is going to be a relatively short tutorial. So, as I mentioned, I, I we, like we just want to get something on the screen, right? So, um uh, I, j I just did the splash screen tutorial last um tutorial just to get something on there so you guys could at least see some results. So you guys want to feel like what you're doing is going nowhere, right? So we're done that. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna create the overload um for this for this load content right here. And what we're gonna do is a lot of the code is the same. So we're gonna just copy this and we're gonna paste it. So uh the last overload was a std string identifier. Okay, so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say that uh, uh, we're gonna ha we're gonna say that if identifier fo found identifier found, then we uh, do the rest of this code. So uh, right here, and we need to. Uh, and then our code okay so what we're gonna do is uh, th this method is going to ha we're gonna have a identifier and we're only gonna get things within that range so if you notice right here um we, yeah we have our attributes we have our content and such like that right uh, but say we have many things in the text file but we only want to load in um a certain amount of things like for example when we load our mem when we get to our menus the way we're going to load our menus is we're going to have all the different menus in our game in one file right but we don't want to load all of the menus at once we only want to load the menus that we're going to to use so uh for i I probably should come up with a better naming scheme, but uh, since I'm using this for the X and A one, then I sh I'm going to use it for this one too, uh, just because just because I don't want to get confused between the two. Okay, uh, but it's up to you if you really want to change it. So you don't really have if you want to change it, you could change it from load equals to something else. You know what I mean? It's it's really entirely up to you. Uh, but we're going to say load equals, and then we have our identifier, right? And then we would have n load and we have our identifier so don't our identifier is not an attribute it's just letting us know when we should start and when we stop so for example if if we have our title menu it let us know um, this will be our identifier so it knows that we start here and then we stop loading from here so anything within these break within these load and end load we load it in but anything above it or anything below it we do not load it in and that is what this uh, second one, this um, this second overloaded uh, method is gonna do. Uh, so we're gonna say that if and do in this order: if line dot find end load equals uh, not equals std string and and uh, line dot find uh, identifier not equals std string and position or uh then we're gonna say uh identifier fire found equal to false and we're gonna call break then we're gonna say else if line dot find load equals and the reason why i do load equals is because uh, something that you something else might have the word load in it right so uh, like we might be you might be loading from a folder or something called load or something so for example what if we had our text file what if we loaded our images from this directory load slash splash screen or whatever right therefore if it found the word load in there that means it would think this is an attribute when it really isn't so when we have the equal sign it kind of lets us know that it is a it is a uh, that that we're actually loading in something and we could just check for the equal sign but you some of your files might have an equal sign and i'm not even sure if they can but uh just to be on the safe side that's what um that's what we're doing 
So we're gonna say if, uh, if they find the word load uh, in there or and um, line.find so if they find uh, the identifier in there and not equals std string and position and if that's true then we're going to set, set identifier found equals to true and we're going to say continue but since it's not an attribute we just want to continue so then we um goes back to the top of the program and continues now why do i say end load before um this one uh load the word load you see load equals is inside the word end load so even if it detects if we did the if we did a vice versa if it detected the word and if it's seen the word end load if it still has a word load in there right and therefore it would still detect end load as though it is the regular load in function and therefore it wouldn't work properly so we check for end load before load so then um not nothing like that happens uh, so that is it for this overload function for the file manager. So uh, that's an easy tutorial. I just uh, did that because w for the title screen now, we're going to be creating the menu manager. And for the menu manager, we need uh, we need to have the second overload. So might as well just have a tutorial to do that. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching and bye.